Hello everyone. Welcome to Naso Academy. In the previous lectures, we have understood bitwise operators in C++. We have successfully covered all the bitwise operators in C++. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is assignment operators. In this lecture, we will understand assignment operators available in C++. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture. and let's see what are the topics the first topic of this lecture is assignment operators first we will understand what are assignment operators and what are the different types of assignment operators we have then we will move to the second topic where we will understand some important points associated with assignment operators so these are the topics let's start with the first one assignment operators So what are assignment operators Assignment operators are those operators that are used to assign value in the RHS to the variable in the LHS So with the help of an assignment operator we can assign value which is available in the right hand side of the assignment operator to the variable in the left hand side of the assignment operator We already know about simple assignment operator which is represented by single equal sign. We know that with the help of that operator we can assign value which is available in the right hand side to the variable in the left hand side. But the simple assignment operator is not the only assignment operator we have in C++. we have more assignment operators and we call them compound assignment operators because they are formed from two operators not one we have the assignment operator and one more operator which is either an arithmetic operator or a bitwise operator let's see what those operators are one by one In this table I will list down all the assignment operators I will provide examples associated with those operators and I will also mention what they are equivalent to Now here comes the first assignment operator which is the simple assignment operator example is A gets B this is how you can read it A gets B this is because variable a will get the value b and this expression is equivalent to a gets b so there is no difference now here comes the second assignment operator which is plus equals example is a plus equals b this is how you can read it a plus equals b and this expression is same as a gets a plus b I hope this is clear to you. So here I have combined the addition operator with the assignment operator. This is the compound assignment operator I was talking about. We do not have just this assignment operator, we have other assignment operators as well. We call them compound assignment operators. The third assignment operator is minus equals. Example is a minus equals b. and this is equivalent to a gets a minus b the fourth one is times equals example is a times equals b and this is equivalent to a gets a times b the fifth operator in this list is divides equals example is a divides equals b and this is equivalent to a gets a divided by b The sixth operator in this list is mod equals. Example is a mod equals b and this is equivalent to a gets a mod b. I hope these compound assignment operators are clear to you. They are formed from an arithmetic operator and the assignment operator which is the simple assignment operator. Now here comes the seventh assignment operator which is the bitwise and equals example is a bitwise and equals b and this is equivalent to 
A gets A bitwise and B. Now here comes the eighth operator, which is the bitwise or equals. Example is A bitwise or equals B. And this is equivalent to A gets A bitwise or B. The ninth operator is bitwise XOR equals. Example is A bitwise XOR equals B. And this is equivalent to A gets A bitwise XOR B. The tenth operator in this list is bitwise left shift equals. Example is A bitwise left shift equals B. And this is equivalent to A gets A bitwise left shift B. The last operator, the eleventh operator in this list is bitwise right shift equals. Example is a bitwise right shift equals B. And this is equivalent to A gets A bitwise right shift B. So, these are all the assignment operators we have in C++. Here we can observe that these compound assignment operators are formed from bitwise operator and the simple assignment operator. So, we have understood assignment operators. This means we are done with the first topic. Now, let's move to the second topic to understand some important points associated with assignment operators. Here is the first point. All assignment operators return the assigned value. No matter what assignment operator we consider, they not only assign value in the right-hand side to the variable in the left-hand side, they also return the assigned value. Now, let's take an example to understand this properly. Here we have this STDC out statement. We have this expression. This value will be assigned to variable x because this is the simple assignment operator. Not only this, we will get 10 from this expression as the result. So, clearly, this assignment operator is not only assigning the value in the right-hand side to the left-hand side variable, it is also returning this value as the result. So, we know that STDC out will display value 10 on the screen. And I hope it is also clear to you why am I calling this an expression because it is returning some value. We can see the value is 10. Now, here is the second point. Evaluation order is right to left. Assignment operators are always evaluated right to left. If we have multiple assignment operators in an expression, then those will be evaluated from right to left. Now, let's take an example. Here we have this STDC out statement and this expression. In this expression, we have two assignment operators. These operators will be evaluated from right to left, not left to right. So, first, this expression will be evaluated, value 10 will be assigned to variable y and this value will also be returned and this means we will get x gets 10. 10 will be assigned to x and after this 10 will be returned. So, clearly with the help of STDC out, we will see the output 10 on the screen. So, with this, I hope these points are completely clear to you. With this, we are done with the second topic also and we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.